Hello student, my name is Mary Kamau. I'm teaching biology form one, lesson one, introduction to biology. And our subtopic today is characteristics of living things. I want to use an illustration here. I have a bottle with some water. If I leave this bottle in my office for a whole month, nothing will happen to the water. But if I give you this bottle, student, on a hot day, you will take this water. Meaning, you are very different from that the many non-living things that I left uh, in the office with this bottle of water. So we have different characteristics of living things uh, that enables them to survive, which are not there in non-living things. So one of the, uh, the characteristics of living things is nutrition. So I will start with the definition of the term nutrition. Nutrition is the process by which living organisms acquire and utilize nutrients in their bodies. The process by which living organisms acquire and utilize nutrients. These nutrients are utilized in the bodies of these living organisms and energy is produced as we are going to see in our second characteristic. So the key words there are acquire and utilize. Number two, we have respiration. Respiration is the process by which food substances are broken down in living cells to produce energy. So the food that these living organisms acquired in our first characteristic is then broken down in living cells to produce energy. Student, all metabolic activities that takes place in living cells requires energy. For example, excretion, which is also a characteristic, requires energy. When the heart is pumping, it requires energy. And that is why these two characteristics of living things are very, very important. So respiration cannot take place before nutrition, as this organism must acquire the food substances. They are utilized in the bodies and during utilization they are broken down to release energy. Number three, we have gaseous exchange. Gaseous exchange is the process by which respiratory gases pass across the respiratory services. Gaseous exchange is the process by which respiratory gases pass across respiratory services. This respiratory gases includes oxygen and number two, carbon four oxide. Student, I want to show you the relationship between the first three 
characteristics of living things.